hi everybody, this is Aid from Witchbike.com and this morning I'll be riding the new 2015 BMW S1000RR. The RR obviously stands for rather ridiculous because this bike has a rather lot of power. In fact, it's three up from the last model. Uh, I believe it's like 198, maybe 199. Um, it's got all the power you're ever going to need, clearly, in a motorcycle. And of course, it has popular success on the track as well. It's a rather nice looking bike, actually. I mean, I've just pootled down here in the wet mode, or they call it the rain mode. Um, only going about 30 mile an hour, so I haven't uh, at all tapped into it. So I'll give you my thoughts as we ride along and ex share the experience together. I have to say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm rather intimidated. Although, I mean, first impressions were that it was very similar to the Fireblade in its sexual positioning. Rather nice. crackle of that exhaust. Oh, that is special. <laughs> Hasn't got the gravel Panigale, but my god, that's not bad, is it? I love that popping on the uh, as the vents come down. Right, let's get this beast out on the road. Let's do my gloss up. Look at that. Let's get this beast out. Right, so I stand up, condition on, does your wizzy wuzzy wishy wash, whatever you call it. Let's start it up. Oh, there we go. Not quite the instant massive jump but growl of the Panigale, but enough down there. Oh man. <laughs> right, we'll keep it in the uh, wet mode, it's got three roads. Three modes, there's uh, rain, sport and race, in fact there's another one called a slick mode but uh, that's not neighbour on demonstrator, it's almost certainly only used for uh, okay. tracks. Bad enough of this traffic, I'll take it out on the Scooby Doo, okay let's have a look, a nice little bend this, it is in the dry anyway. Oh, the exhaust popping, it's just magnificent. Bloody hell. This is in a wet mode, right? Fucking heck! Oh my god, how's that wet mode? Fuck off! Fucking matty, as far as the 899 Panigale. <laughs> oh my friggin' ass. Just do it. Six gear. Obviously it's got a quick shifter. So as long as you're accelerating, it shifts up one minute before you, just the left foot, no need to use the clutch. It's got a down shift as well. No need to blip the throttle, it does no auto blipping for you. Slide by wire throttle. I like the fact it's got an analogue rev counter. You see the needle flying up and down. It's always a nice touch. Gear indicator. It's a speedo trick. It's got a lap button on the left hand side. If you want to track or doing certain routes that you know well or improve your times. Uh, Heavy bits come as standard which is nice. And I can feel the benefit of those right now. Got to burn my bloody hand. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh man. Oh my god, those brakes! First of all, we tried them! Whoa, they're good! Shit, those brakes are epic! Mm. Epic! Epic! Right. Right, it's in neutral. <sighs> right, cruise control over here. There's the old uh, check on the lap setting times. That's a slick mode, only for the track. Indicator. The horn's right down here, underneath there, that's good. Never liked the horn anyway. Hit your grip button, engine stop, start. There's the mode button, that's what I want. The one there, 
Oh right, okay, so left hand side, right, right, sport, pulling the clutch, now it's selected, right okay, let's see what this sport does. <laughs> and this bike, this bike was fast enough about it. Check a bit of traffic. Now the R8 Spider, nice. How fast is this bass be? Faster. <laughs> 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 what the hell? Oh, it's one thousand dollar. Whoa, fucking hell! Oh, oh my god, these brakes are epic. Flipping hell, this is such a good bike. Oh no, what a decision to make! This is a Panigale! Oh, oh no, what have I done? I shouldn't have ridden this. As a lot of you know from my other videos, there's two videos where I have a rant about BMW drivers. So this clutch feels a bit, a bit weird. Yeah, I've broken it. That's not demon riding. Not. Oh. Oh, fucking hell, just take a breather. God, blimey, oh, Riley, oh, smelly, oh, by me. <coughs> by me. Oh, God. What a bike. Oh, God. That's quite intense, actually. But it's not scary, it's not intimidating. I find it easier to ride than the fire blade. Um, the sheer power of it is, is fun and uh, exhilarating and adrenaline giving. Delivery is different in that it's power straight away, it just keeps going in linear curve. Um, I suppose overall that's, that's a good thing, isn't it? The Panagali sounded a little bit better from the off and it sounds better through the gears, but it doesn't do the downward downshift pops, which I find lovely. It just reminds me of old motorbikes and old, even old F1, Formula 1 cars. Oh yeah, oh that takes me back, that does. This, this bike has not got a single fault. And as long as you like the livery options, there's no reason not to get it. It's not even sillyly expensive. I mean, as far as I remember rightly, it's a lot cheaper than the um, 1299 Panigale. Not a huge match more than the, uh, the Fireblade or the 899. Obviously, uh, it's, only, it's in the Fireblades class. 899 is completely below this bike. But so far, beyond this, this is definitely okay for the road. I mean, because you're in such control, the bike is in such control as well. Um, but it's easy to ride it within the limits. You know, it's only you who's going to make that go, bike go faster by twisting that throttle. So pretty impressive, really. All right, okay, let's go for it. Let's put it on a big boy, shall we? Do the old wishy washy woogie. Uh, start her up. Actually, let's put her into the mode first. Can we do that? Yeah, race. Put in, just put in the clutch and it locks it in. It's cool, isn't it? All right, okay. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, for those thoughts. I can't get used to that. Actually, I'm trying, I think I'm changing my mind. I think overall, because of that noise, it's got to be better than the uh, Pelagani overall, isn't it? Just not as loud and idle. It's always nice to scare your granny, isn't it? All right. Right, so right, I've got a member in the race now. So what does that mean? Right, it means I'm not going to fucking hit the throttle on first gear. It could be a small clue. Or second. Oh my life! Oh, my God. 
Oh, remember to breathe, remember to breathe! <sighs> oh, she's just having my breathe and all that. But it's linear. It's not um, like a turbo kicking, which, which is a bit like the fire blade. I used to love turbo cars, what a bike! I just think that's a bit scary. There's this, you know, okay, you're going fast now, just slow it off slightly. This is doing fine. It's time to slow down here, boy. Fucking hell's bells. Oh, we're here. I oh, know we're on it. Not like me, isn't it? We're getting lost. You know that. Okay, let's take it. Oh. a bit of that, that front gear, front brake, sorry, I can't even speak properly, the front brake is bloody epic. Oh, I'm starting to like this, I am starting to like this. Getting neutral, you know, playing neutral ping pong again. You know, I love a bit of that. It's better than um, my CBR 600. Fireblade got in neutral nicely. Oh, and the Pelagardi. Oh my life. Wow, this bike is fucking epic. You can't fault it. You really can't fault it. I mean, just because it's not Italian, there should be a reason not to buy it. Sounds a bit silly as I say it. Wow. Oh. Oh, that top is amazing. I do feel like a fucking god riding this. I'm at a traffic light, someone's looking over. And that down. Fucking hell, this fucking thing is happening. This is second gear, I don't know if I want to really open up on this. Oh, come on, mate. Oh. Ah! Fucking hell, didn't see that. I fucking went flying then. I fucking got a load of air. I don't have been down this road in the car lots of times. I've never done that. Of course, oh, oh my god, it's about 34 mile an hour faster. And the bike's not lighter. Oh shit. Fuck it off like a TT rider. Fucking oh, hell, the back wheel straight for grip then. Oh Jesus Christ. So is this bike. Is this bike for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've yet to ride the RC8R from KTM, which looks staggering. But really, it's the antithesis of this. The RC8's got uh, no electricery. And uh, this has got fucking everything. But, I mean, obviously I'm a bit new to biking, but I can't feel anything different in this. You know, I can't tell they've been taking over, except the fact that I haven't killed myself. <laughs> I've had a couple of fucking massive moments already. And I uh, got away with it. Oh, oh that noise! Fucking hell! Can we actually engineer that into the bike? Fucking that awesome. I wish my back's starting to wake a little bit now. You say not from vibrations, it's very good handling or ride on the uh, rough roads around this area. It's not that. I think just generally I'm not used to this over any other position. Plus I'm probably holding on too tight out of tension. Yeah, because at the end of the day, this bike is so far above my ability to ride it fast. When I start getting to a silly speed, you know, I do start panicking a bit. I thought I'd just I'd only need a couple of hours on it, I think. 
I'm the first one to admit that uh, this is too much of a bike for me. However, it doesn't mean I can't get it, I've just got to make sure I ride it sensibly. We don't have to be in race mode like it is now. Keep it in sport, keep it in uh, the rain mode until you really get used to how it handles, especially around urban environments when you're going slower, those tighter turns. So that's fair enough. I think these modes on bikes are a wonderful idea. <laughs> in the rain mode it goes from 198 or so down to um, 160. That's, that's still more, a fair bit more than the Panagon 899 in its high setting. <laughs> That's the, that's the A3, I'm going to get on that. Ripley. Yeah. Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Is it over the handlebars? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, no, that's some flipping news. What are you doing, Mr. Focus? Fucking hell, I'm taking another breather. My hands are starting to ache. I don't want to get quite hot actually. I'm not sure if this bike or just me concentrating. I've had a few smelly moments now where in slow riding the clutch has kind of leapt away from me a little bit. A little bit scary. A couple of slow bends, one I really kind of fucked up. Oh dear. Um, I mean, it's good that I get off this bike and I'm cl <laughs> And I kind of think, I think it's fantastic, but also I've got huge respect for it and it's quite scary. I think that's quite healthy. I mean, I can't imagine getting off this bike and thinking, ah, pff, bit tame, it? Nothing, not much for me. Nothing to go to there. So for me, I think actually that's a good thing. Oh, it's going to be one of those things. I mean, the head and quite a lot of hearts. Is this the best bike I've ever been on by fucking miles? I just got a theme for Ducati and that Panagali 99. Just from the moment it started up, I kind of jumped backwards, such with the loudness of his exhaust. Should that and the evocative nature of the name and the mark, should that really tip the balance? Because this obviously is a phenomenally engineered bike. It's got all the power you're ever going to need. I'm never going to get near to two thirds of this power probably until I've got the bravery to get on a track. Or I'm on a motorway and I happen to know that there's no cars and police on there. Or I take the journey going go on Autobahn. But that sheer mid-range grunt taking you up you know, six to 10,000 revs area is fantastic. I will try and get some Leary revs in the last minute back. I've got to try one more. Fucking, I'm probably getting late here. Shit, what is it? Oh, 11.02. Okay. Oh. Good grief. Room for two more on a bike, ladies. Room for two more on a bike. Yeah, at this speed right now. You know, that's, that's, this is the race, and I'm jerking the throttle there. It's not trying to kill me. You know, that's jerking it right up. So it's not as if you can't really control it. Oh. What do I like best? I think comfort's neither here nor there, it's the comfort you'd expect of a bike of this ilk. So that, to be fair, that's fair enough. I'm not, there's no point in judging it of comfort, that's not what it's aimed at. As it happens, it's not too bad. But obviously what it excels of is the, um, it's just power, the smoothness, and this electricery, keeping it really safe, keeping you really safe. You know, it makes this bike realistic, it makes it a proposition for most classes of riders. Let's come on. <laughs> I'm 
I'm never going to get used to those noises. That's the single thing I like most about it is the uh, the pops as you go down the revs. I just fucking love it. I fucking love it. Fucking hell. Oh, that might be the fastest I've gone round the bend. Oh, you can all the round the bend, but fuck me. If you lean it over, oh fuck me, look at that. Fucking Delorean. No fucking way. What is that about? Have a bit of that. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite fast. Mm. Right, I've got a quick there. I'm coming up here. Right, I've survived another turn. <laughs> I'll just have a speech again. I think I was trying to say that I've survived the fight another day. This turn of the day, the speed is dangerous. On that basis, this bike is dangerous, but on all other areas, this bike is a bloody pussycat. Oh, fucking hell, well, this was, and continues to be, because I'm still alive, <laughs> aid from whichbike.com. Please remember to uh, like, subscribe, and join the website. We've got an active uh, forum, building up quite nicely. We've got blogs where you can add your own bike reviews. Uh, the Battle Calculator comes online soon. And uh, there's some pretty good videos in there, or comparison videos, where you can add your own ones from YouTube that you like to it as well. Hope to see you on there. Take care, safe riding.